Welcome everyone. I am Lucia McBroom, Senior Brand Manager for Briso. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us for this landmark unveiling. As a brand dedicated to challenging convention, we are thrilled to be debuting our newest collection and even more so to be doing it in collaboration with an architectural organization as iconic as the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation. I am honored to be here in Spring Green, Wisconsin at Taliesin, Frank Lloyd Wright's personal home and drafting studio. As many of you probably know, Frank Lloyd Wright was a pivotal force in the world of architecture and design, changing the way we build and live. Designing more than 1,100 architectural works, he's known for creating some of the most innovative spaces in the country. Over the next 45 minutes, we will share with you our latest collection, steeped in that same artistry and craftsmanship, and give you an exclusive look into the inspiration behind the design. We've saved some time at the end to answer any questions, so please send yours in. You can do this at any point by simply typing a question into the submission box labeled Ask a Question on the landing page directly under the video player. If you don't see the submission box, you are likely in full screen mode, so be sure to exit full screen mode to submit your questions. We may not be able to get to every single question before time is up today, but we will be sure to follow up afterward with anyone we might miss. And now, without further delay, introducing the new Frank Lloyd Wright Bath Collection by Brizo. Frank Lloyd Wright saw beyond the here and now. Nature with a capital N, we're continually speaking of humanity. With every stroke of his pencil, he gave structure to life and life to structure. He showed us a new way to build and a new way to be. That legacy lives on. Every time we seek simplicity and repose, every time we honor the landscape and build with integrity, every time we challenge convention and find harmony with all things, he's present. His story goes on. His vision continues. Wow, I still get chills every time I watch that video, and I've watched it a lot. I hope everyone loves this new collection as much as we do. As you can imagine, this bath collection is the result of incredibly close collaboration between the Brizo brand and the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation over the past several years. Here to talk a little bit about that collaboration, I'd like to introduce Stuart Graff, the president and CEO of the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation, as well as Judd Lord, Senior Director of Industrial Design for Brizo. Welcome. Well, it's great Thank to be you. here. <laughs> it's good to be here with, uh, with you, Lucia. With you, Stuart. Great to be here with all of you guys because we finally get to launch this. It's been a bit of a labor of love for quite a few years for me. And as we were talking, uh, you know, uh, previously, and I was trying to think back when the first time I was first exposed to Frankly Right. And it, it really kind of goes back to I could remember doing an architectural report in art class back in junior high and going into the library and pulling some books on architecture and first seeing some of Wright's work. And I remember reading it, but as a seventh grader, you know, some of that stuff doesn't always click. All I knew is that I loved what I saw, and so it always resonated with me. And, you know, fast forward more decades than I care to count, you know, we're kicking off the Brizo brand. We are, you know, there's this opportunity where we're always, you know, Brizo, the whole charter is to try and elevate the world around us with great design, right? And um, and be distinctive in how we do it. And there's always, in the back of my mind, there's something I thought we could do with Frank Lloyd Wright and, and his legacy. And so how great of a coup it's been to get to work with Stuart and the foundation as, you know, the team kind of set forth on this. And, um, and we really wanted to uh, 
not just focus on like a specific building or furniture piece or, you know, to that effect, but we wanted just, I really wanted the collection to be about the legacy, the, the you know, the, carry on his vision. And, you know, you can read about it, but here you're working with the expert and he brought so much insight into what we could do and, and you know, helped us, you know, through this collaboration from the very beginning uh, to really make, I'm, I'm excited to get into even the later stuff we're gonna show him, you know. Well, we, we feel the exact same way, Judd. Working with the Brizo brand has just been a true pleasure. The, this is one of the world's great cultural legacies and I'm glad that it still inspires you. I hope it still inspires the folks out there mm -hmm. um, the way that it inspires us. Uh, this has always been about looking forward. It's been about doing something new and different, which is how Wright's whole career is characterized as doing something new and inventing the future of design and architecture. And we're still doing it with this collection. It's just, and, and your team working with our team really got it. You didn't just, you know, treetop this. You, you got deep into the design legacy and the underlying principles of organic architecture, and it shows through in the collection. Yeah, you just can't, you, you've got to have it sometimes, you know, you remember it was back in school and college, right? Sometimes it's just better to, you can read it, but then have it explained to you and see it from, uh, you know, the different viewpoint, and, and then it starts to really sink in. And so as we, we really started diving into his legacy and what he was all about, that's, you know, Stuart and his team were just, you know, incredible. Well, we were able to distill this into a collection of, of core principles of design, right? Right. Iterates this many times. He explains it a lot of different ways over the course of his very long career. But we were able, working with your team, to really distill this into six core design principles. Principles like the substance of material, the integrity and truthfulness of design, the use of simplicity to, um, simplicity to highlight the things that are really important and eliminate the things that aren't important. And, and y you all really, really got it. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping. Yes. I think you'll see how meticulously these principles have been integrated throughout the new collection as you view our next video. I don't know a designer alive who hasn't been influenced by Frank Lloyd Wright. And we really wanted to pay homage to that, right, to his legacy, to his vision. Frank Lloyd Wright was always embracing the world around him and its natural principles into his designs, really trying to change the way we live. Partnering with the Brizo brand, we were able to create an embodiment of Wright's design principles so that we see how they might be expressed today. Those six founding principles, that was our foundation for this collection. And we began to build up from there. Nature itself, as complex as it appears, really comes back to very simple principles. And Wright just responded to that with his own design, having things that would be sustainable through simplicity. This. Boston design, it looks so simple on the surface, but we went through a lot of refinement. As Wright would say, only the significant remains. Wright talks about space as the continual becoming. Elements of design constantly revealing themselves. It's like a walk through the woods. The way the water flows so effortlessly through the wood and through the metal, and every element just unfolds into the next. The building is like a person. It's almost a living thing like a tree. This collection is for those people who wanted to have that close relationship with nature, to have that feeling that you are a part of that. Individual expression, that's in his mind what great design should stand for. It's something that really creates this aristocracy of the individual. When we're connected with the world around us, it brings us a sense of peace. A hundred years ago, Wright was intuiting all of this. The polished nature of the metal itself, it's reflecting that environment. Couple that with the warmth of the wood, you really get this welcoming and intuitive color palette that's found in so many of Wright's works.
One of the really striking things that we see here is that the metal is what it is. The wood is what it is. They're used in exactly the way that they should be. That kind of juxtaposition of the strength that you find in the metals in this very precise manner with the soft wood. It is just being true to itself. One of the things that was incredibly important to Frank Lloyd Wright was the sense of integrity, the way that a building shows you how it works, what it's made of. There's nothing about it you can't understand. For us, the integrity really manifested itself in using water as this main design element. And the beauty of it is that it just gets out of the way and lets the water speak for itself. All those principles come out of these hills, come out of this valley. The sum total of Wright's life is represented in these spaces. And those principles carry forward beyond his life and into innovative new products like these. We don't really understand what it is to live in a building with organic character. Architecture that belongs where you see it standing. And the letters we receive from our clients tell us those buildings we build for them have changed the character of their whole life. Welcome back. Hopefully you can see that our team spent an inordinate amount of time obsessing over every detail in this collection. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it a little bit. You know, we tried to incorporate all of those six principles within, you know, this, this singular, um, you know, uh, embodiment of the collection. I'm kind of excited to get a little bit more into the details coming up in, in the next videos too. But, you know, from the, the, the simplicity of the forms, you know, the, the, the color palettes from which we chose from, uh, you know, from that natural world, just like Wright, Wright did, um, the, the truth of materials, that juxtaposition of the wood and the metal, you know, the strength and the softness, the, um, you know, really the, probably the main tenet for us, that main thing was that integrity, right? Holding true to our uh, main vision of making water that true design element, right? Because that's what Wright wasn't about, you know, really the brick and mortar so much and the walls and the objects within the, the spaces, right? He was all about nature and, and space and what you could do. And so we really wanted to place that focus on the water itself. And, and that was one of those, those instances where I think we really did a nice job staying yeah. true. And, and again, kudos to our engineering team for really figuring that out because they, they're the behind the scenes, but they are fabulous at figuring out. There's a lot of stuff that has to go into um, you know, making this particular product exactly do what it want, you know, we wanted it to do. And I, I, I agree with you. I think you, you put the focus squarely on the nature of water itself, how it flows, how it, 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 it you know, can go through a, a sort of a tortuous course and how it comes together, how the surface tension in the water itself comes together to become a part of the design of this collection. Yeah. I think that that's, that's the sort of connection with nature that Wright was all about in his design. Yeah, it's, a, it's that water is the connector, right? Because it's, it's kind of flowing effortlessly through that metal, through that wood, to that, you know, to that user as they're engaging with that product. And you know, so every, you know, every element kind of unfolds into the next. You know? So it's, it's just a wonderful you know, how this all came to being at this point. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, in that spirit, we want you to have a chance to see the products in this collection up close with a first look inside our Frank Lloyd Wright Bath Collection virtual showroom. And we're gonna jump right into it. Yes, we are. We're gonna start <laughs> off uh, showing you, this is the exciting part for me. Uh, we're gonna start <laughs> off by really getting a little bit of a closer look at our widespread faucet to begin with. And this, we're showing you a little bit of how the water actually looks. So you notice just the forms are very simple. So even all by itself, it's just this beautiful, we, we kind of call it functional sculpture, right? Everything we do with Embrizo, yeah. we like to refer to as functional sculpture. But you realize with that cantilevered spout, uh, it, you know, it just has a little bit of visual tension to it. And that water, when you're engaging with it, you turn the water, you quickly realize that, that is the, that's what finishes the design. That's what completes this functional sculpture, right? It's the water itself, and, and you want to engage with it. So uh, I, just, I, I just loved how this embodied the simplicity, uh, the thing we did, you know, everything we did with the water and the integrity. Um, and it just uh, you know, shows off that the materials, everything we've been talking about, you know, it's just such, it's such a simple 
model. Yeah, well you say simplicity too, and a nod to our engineers. There was yes. nothing simple about figuring out the water delivery system within these faucets. Yes. It's, it, it took a lot of time. I remember um, being down in the lab <laughs> and there was all, the whole team was down there and we were looking at like multiple different water flows and meticulously picking them apart of why this one was wrong and why that one was wrong and how we had to get it just right. Um, so, you know, it's, it's simplicity and design, but definitely not. It's a feat of engineering. <laughs> well, and, and, but, you know, look, Wright says near the end of his life um, in, in one of his books that simplicity isn't easy. It takes courage. It takes intention. It takes a lot of skill to live and to be simple. You've done that here. Yep. You've really put all that work to deliver something whose simplicity to the, the end user, the, the consumer, the designer, just shines through. And I think this is a, a poster child, and you'll see this in the, in the kind of hopefully throughout the collection, that um, one of my favorite um, sayings from, from Frank Lloyd Wright was, you should strive for the elimination of the insignificant. And then what remains is significant, right? Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah. We spend a lot of time going through the iterations on these models. And you'll see this, we can even move to, our, I think our next model is a single handle um, that we're gonna show off here. And I wanted to bring this one up uh, next and talk about it just related to that whole idea of eliminate everything, but what's significant because this is where we actually started. Yeah. You know, you start with this model because this is, the, this is the single most difficult model to get to work because you have all the valving. Everything is all housed in this one piece of work, this one sculptural piece. And you know you could see the water you flow, and this is what we were looking at in the model shop that yeah. you were leading mm -hmm. to, Lucia, right? Absolutely. So, to, you know, taking a look at how we wanted these the, these flow rates to work, and and you know, again, this is what we we worked with the you know with the wood and the metal, and, and one of the questions I get is that wood it's it's somewhat structural, but it's mostly static, but the water doesn't actually touch the wood as it's going through this spout, right? It's it's all that water is self-contained and that wood is really there to just be a part of that that visual and, and structure of the of the model itself to really make it complete. One of the things I really love about this, and we can see it in this view that's here on screen right now, is you get to see that juxtaposition of material. Again, something that characterized Frank Lloyd Wright's career. So you've got the beautiful brilliance of the of the, the metal and the soft warmth of the wood. And that's not just something that's visual. It's also tactile. One mm -hmm. of the great surprises when the samples came through was you'd start to touch this. And where usually you, you, you go to turn on the handle of a faucet and your immediate expectation is a cold feeling. This is all about warmth and you can feel the grain in the wood and, and it just, you know, it's surprising. It delights um, and looks Pretty darn good. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, purposeful so design. What, yeah. what you're seeing here on the screen is our Brilliance Luxe Nickel with wood split finish. This collection is also available in polished chrome, Brilliance Polished Nickel, Brilliance Luxe Nickel, Brilliance Luxe Steel, and a Brilliance Polished Nickel split finish with wood. So this is available in a multitude of finishes, and the wood really is our hero. Yes, so. yes. It comes in all metal finishes for those who <laughs> want it. But, you know, this is, for me, this is what, right, you always have in the back of your your head when you're you're first thinking about what could this actually be in because you think of rights use of materials yeah. and pulling from the natural world so this to me is the, the quintessential you know yep. uh for carrying on that vision yeah. and you go say, for the wood folks and yes. you say pull from <laughs> yes. the, na the natural wood and it truly is natural, natural wood. wood i mean no, no two pieces are alike you will have you know different tones and variations because it is authentic yes. so drives really. our quality folks nuts but we love it yeah. from the design <laughs> side right because it's you know every piece is unique and that's the way it should be it's all yes. individual so yes, absolutely. um i think the next one actually the, this is one of my favorites. why well, it's so bad because i they're pretty much all my favorites but this one i love this one's a showstopper this is a showstopper just because uh, of all of them, this is the one I think that truly, if you're saying, oh, it's prairie style, this to me, right, embodies prairie style. It, it just... It, it looks like a Frank Lloyd Wright building. It does. <laughs> it totally looks like a building. And it was it was just beautifully done. And one of the things I think, if you can kind of, you, you may notice, but it's actually, there's an ambient light. This one really played off of, you know, Wright did a lot of great work in his lighting about using lights, bouncing it, uh, indir you know, indirect light, bouncing it off of objects, uh, how it played, again, light and space and nature. And he did a fantastic job with this. And so we've actually incorporated this ambient light. It uh, runs by a hydrogen that's hidden up in the top. Um, but really this epitomizes, right, this entire collection, right, when we first started thinking about it, was who, who would be wanting this kind of a collection? So we wanted to design this for somebody who wanted that closer relationship with nature. And this is really about bringing the outside in and, and you stand underneath this rainfall and you've got the ambient light. I think this one really captures, I mean, I love the waterfall in the, 
uh, you know, in the, the, the faucets themselves, but the shower to me is that thing where you're getting that full body experience of, of really trying to bring that indoor or that, you know, that outside to the inside. Yeah, absolutely. I also like this little bit of history that's sort of embodied there because we're at Talies and on the other end of the property, there is this hydro generator that uh, right designs and builds and deploys back when the house is first built because we're out in the countryside and there isn't electricity here. Yeah. And so, you know, to sort of have that call back to the history of using a hydro generator, incorporating, again, the nature of water itself as a means to generate power into this design just operates at many different levels to explore the intrinsic character of water. Yeah, I, I, I love it. It's, it's, like I said, it's, this one is a showstopper. And, yes. and uh, our, our next one, has, it definitely has a presence also. This is our freestanding tub filler. Uh, which I, I love. This is, you know, has that architectural, conveys that, you know, a lot of that strength. Again, showing off, you know, the wood handles, those wood accents, it's all woodwork counts, right? That, that, that tactile aspect, bringing up more of those senses into play, you know, from that design standpoint. So you're getting the audio, mm -hmm. the, you know, auditory, the visual. You would, might have noticed, though, the water in this instance did not fall, tumble off to the side. And you'll notice in our tub fillers, they won't tumble off to the side because is if you do it because you have to push so many gallons per water uh, through these, uh, you end up you know shooting it across the room and usually hit a wall about eight foot away. So um, we had to Not go ideal. with that. Yeah, a simple, <laughs> clean laminar flow drops straight down. You know, because you know, let's be honest, when you're filling up the tub, you want it filled quickly, so you're going to push as much water through as you possibly can. So how do you control that fury? And I think this does such a great job. It's a very thin architectural look that you've got a lot of water coming through that you're trying to tame and control. And I, I, I love that tension that, yeah. that you see in it's the really tub fillers. Lovely. Yeah. It is lovely. It's also very versatile. It's available in a floor, wall, or deck mount configuration. And it also is available with an accessory kit. So we can't forget about our um, dish and tray for your jewelry, or as Judd and Stuart yes. like have we, been saying, the, are they gin and tonic? Gin and tonic. Yeah, yeah, gin and tonic, guys, guys. right? So you got the, you guys, you got, we gave you a wine holder, you know, That's you got right. the wine glass holder. We got, our, you know, we got the thing for our gin, so it's all good. We can, we don't need the jewelry. <laughs> Something for everybody. Yeah. Something yeah, for everybody. Absolutely. We try to do that. Um, we're going to move to the, uh, the wall mount next. And this is, again, uh, this actually, as we got into it, became favorite. We did a lot of wall mount variations, mm -hmm. uh, two handles, single handles. This is the one that resonated across the board with the most people that we were showing. And it was, uh, you know, a simple rotary valve at the very top, very clean. Uh, it, again, cantilevered spout, just off center a little bit, creates a little bit of that visual tension, and that water really completes the design when you're interacting with it. And, and, and there's something about this. I, I, it's like after I saw all of these, like if I was, re you know, getting our bathroom, this is the one I would you know, I would link to, I love the on-wall look. Yeah, I, I just love the way that you see the strength of the metal coming through in this, yeah. this bold horizontal thrust, the cantilever, that is so iconic uh, in its association with Wright's work. And that just, this is a powerhouse, and it, it really speaks to, you know, how we use our materials in order yeah. to create excellence in design. Yeah, I, I, I love it, that whole, this is, Wright had a lot of cantilevers. You know, and this was this one really embodies that. And so, yeah, it became a favorite. Um, our last one we're going to show you here is our two-handled on-wall tub filler. And again, you'll notice as the water turns on, like I mentioned before, it's just going to be dropping straight down because we don't want to uh, injure anybody standing off <laughs> yeah. to the side. You know, if they happen to be turning it on. So, this is a uh, a great um, uh, you know great rendition of, of where we ended up here again with the wood at the touch points right where you want it. Um, as Lucia said, they they all come. You can do all metal. Yeah. if you want, but I, I personally just love these little touches, you know, uh, as the accent pieces, right, you know, that are The wood has functional. really become a favorite yeah. internally, yes. Yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. So just gorgeous all around. I love the collection. I'm, of course, I'm very biased, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a wonderful collection, and it is also a complete bath suite available with lavatory faucets, tub fillers, custom shower options and shower components, as well as a full um, availability of accessories and hardware to complete your bath space. So with that, um, I hope everyone enjoyed this in-depth look at this stunning new collection. And now we'd like to take some time to answer any of your questions. Um, I think we've had some coming through throughout this t our time together. So if you haven't, please make sure um, to fill those in. Um, so let's go ahead and see here. All right, we've had a couple coming in. Let's see. What do they got for us? Let's see, this one is for Judd. Judd, let's see here. How did Brizo um, first become connected with the foundation? Oh, good story. Um, yeah, so we were, um, 
as I alluded to earlier, I've always been a bit of a Frank Lloyd Wright geek. And um, in 2016, we started, I started seeing some of the articles. I didn't really realize, but there were some articles coming out. But 2017 was Frank Lloyd Wright. So it was the 150th anniversary, right, of his birthday. So yeah. in 2016, I'm like, I really, let's start playing around with the idea. You know, so we, you know, I kicked a team off on this whole exercise. Hey, let's just have some fun. You know, we try and do some things, right? Brizo is all just us designers having fun. And so we started working on this project and then just coincidentally, I got a call from Stuart, like not too long after we had started, you know, started prototyping. And he's like, hey, would you like to meet at the Kitchen and Bath show, which I think was in Orlando that was year. In Orlando. And I'm like, that would be fantastic. Let's, you know, let's meet. And, and, um, and so it was one of those cases where we're supposed to just kind of meet for like a finite period of time and ex ex extended for a better <laughs> part of an afternoon. Riffing. Yeah, and, it, and there was a lot of great stuff. Stuart had some great things to show us, and 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 there was, um, and I I was like, kind of just snowballed from there. And then we're like, we need to kind of carry this, in, you know, to the next phase. So yeah. that was yeah, it was a great, perfect storm uh, of coincidences. It just all brought us together again. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, and then on that note, um, here's another one that just piggybacks right off of that. Um, Stuart, what made the foundation interested in partnering with Brizo? Well, it was probably a few things. Um, the foundation's licensing program begins in 1955 with Frank Lloyd Wright deciding to license his works. And it's carried forward over the years in a lot of different ways. But in its current version, what we want to do is we want not just to replicate the past. We want to find partners who can take his ideas and carry them forward with new designs. That's the, the centerpiece of what we're trying to do here. So we had to find a partner um, in the space that Wright never designed, and he never designed any faucets, any lavatories, any whiteware for bathrooms. Kind of hard to believe. Yeah, Everything was, really you know, yeah, and, and so we wanted to find a partner that we felt first could really understand this, this legacy of principles that wasn't looking to replicate just designs from the past, and secondly, that was willing to embrace the spirit of partnership. As we looked over the landscape, and we, and we came to Brizo, what we saw was this opportunity to really work with the team that had been doing that already. And after that meeting that you described, it, we felt really confident that we had the right partner to do this because the conversation wasn't about replicating what right. was done before. It was all about how, instead of looking at individual buildings or individual designs, we could look at core principles of design. Yep. That's really exciting. Yeah, that is. It's perfect. We're honored you chose to work with us. We're, we feel the <laughs> same way, very actually. Lucky. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's see. We have a couple more questions filtering in here. All right, is there a specific Frank Lloyd Wright home that this collection was designed after? No, no, no we were just kind of talking about that. It was uh, going right into uh, this project back in 2016 as I was uh, kind of throwing it out to the team. Uh, we didn't want it to be patterned after a specific building or a uh, you know a, a, a piece of furniture or anything like that. We obviously you do your due diligence, right? You're taking all of that in, but then as we started getting into the study, and it was really got us you know connected with Stuart and and that whole the, the idea of the six principles of organic architecture. We wanted to because he hadn't designed in that space. We wanted something, right? We wanted to look forward. We wanted to, you know we, pay homage to the legacy you know, but not be tied to the past, but do something right as we're re-envisioning that bathroom space and, and what could we do, you know, to, look, to keep this. Uh, and I think the collection does a good job of looking forward, which really, to me, epitomized what Wright was all about, right? He was exactly. a maverick, he was a futurist. He never looked back, right? He was really he ahead said, of his time. His, yeah. his, his buildings are yeah. still used to represent the future. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think you even said, right, his, his, he always said his, his favorite project was his next one. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. and, that's, and that was great when you said that but way back when. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's how we want we, yeah. we to approach right. this collection. But one of the funny things is as we're exploring principles, these principles, especially the way that he frames them through his own language, can be really tough to understand. So we've got through this body of work that, that he, he created this rich set of resources to point you to. So when we start talking about you know, the way that we might use cantilevers mm -hmm. um, to convey strength, we've, I, I just remember the conversation of showing the team the Sturgis House in Southern California. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It, it has this, it's maybe the boldest use of a cantilever in the entire body of work, and it's a breathtaking work. And it literally, you, when I put it on screen, there was a gasp. Yeah. Because we were all working on Zoom yeah. at, at that point. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I remember that. The, there was this gasp. <laughs> Um, about it because you didn't know how this building was was staying up and it showed how he's using 
these design principles in a really dramatic way, which in turn becomes captured in what you've done with this collection, is to take that, that set of principles and embody them in a beautiful and dramatic way to really highlight what, how we can live better, how we can use design to elevate the way we live. And that's really what Frank Wright yeah. was all about. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we answered that one with a yeah. simple okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see if we have any more. All right. Here is one. When will this collection be available? I think I can take this you one. You can do that one. Not, do not no. soon enough. Not soon enough. <laughs> that's, that's always that's, the answer, right? That's not our soon answer. enough. That's well, this answer. collection is open for order August 23rd and will begin shipping in September. So hopefully you guys can wait just a little bit longer, um, but it will be available soon. Awesome. Yeah. I know. Exciting. It's faster. really exciting. Faster. Faster. Well, I'm not, I, I have no control over that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all again so much for joining us today. We are incredibly proud of this collaboration and thrilled to be able to finally share it with you. If you'd like to continue exploring the virtual showroom, we invite you to scan the QR code on the screen at the end of our time together with your phone's camera. Please also feel free to visit brizo.com for more details and make sure to check out our social channels to follow along with our public launch tomorrow. And if you'd like to share your excitement, please don't forget to tag us at Brizo Fawcett and the foundation at Wright Taliesin. We really hope you enjoyed your time with us this afternoon and thank you so much again. Have a great rest of your day.